Hi, it's Adele. I've been asked to do a couple of exercises for the piriformis and also some bum strengthening exercises. So the piriformis is quite deep, so you need to do a few exercises around it and it can create pain in the hips and the sciatic nerve. So I'd like to start off uh, making sure that you're warm, but I'd like you to lie down and we might as well, while we're here, work our tummy muscles. Good idea Adele. Start with a couple of toe taps. Bring the foot to the floor and lift. That's level one. Keeping your pelvis still, keeping your ribs down. I have explained and worked on this on other videos. Swapping and keeping your pelvis really still. Level two, lifting, pushing the back down, lifting the second leg. Now release the back press the tummy and keeping the legs lovely and loose, lower one leg and lift, breathing out as you go, good, breathing out to lift your leg. Now level one is one leg, level two is alternating, level three, bring your hands across your chest, breathe out to lift. Good. Are you feeling that? Are you feeling that in your tummy? Pressing the deep abdominal down, keeping the lower back in a natural, neutral position, keeping the legs nice and loose. So that's level one and level two. Hands across your chest, level three. Bring the feet to the floor, adjust your back, a little pelvic tilt, pubic bone up, pubic bone away. So let's now strengthen our glutes. Remove the towel from underneath your head, climb up into a shoulder bridge, hold there. Level one, pause at the top, roll down and articulate all the way through your spine and roll down. Okay, climbing up, squeezing your bum, roll down. So it's got a nice flow. Rolling down. So level two is lifting one leg and pushing the leg away. Breathing out. And what you're looking for is stability in the hips. Keep the hips still. Put that foot on the floor. Can you do on the other side? Press the foot on the floor. Push the other leg away. Now if you feel that you're unstable, then please feel free to bring the foot and the bum down. So I'm trying to keep my legs as loose as possible and make the work come from the glutes. Bring the knees into the chest. And finally, one last little stretch. Take that front leg into the air. That's a hamstring stretch. Slide the other leg across the floor to make it stronger. And this hamstring, this back of the leg, is a really long, big muscle going over two joints. And this is what blocks our path, really, of going deeper into the piriformis. So you start with a hamstring, then you bend the back knee, and you take the ankle over the thigh. And this is your piriformis. This is going deep into the side of your bum. That's this level one, level one piriformis stretch. A level two is to put your hands on the floor, press your foot down, lift your hips and pulse at the top of the move. Give me 10 pulses. Good. Again, you want your hips to be square and then roll down. Let's do that on the other side. Lift the back leg, find the hamstring stretch. Know that you're going down the body down the muscles in layers. This is the first layer. I'm not so flexible on this side. Most of us have a discrepancy from one side to the other. Level one. Now bending the knee and playing with that piriformis stretch. See what you can get. Push the knee away. Flex the foot so that knee is happy. And level three, hands on the floor. Squeeze the bum, pulse. So these are strengthening your glutes, your bum, 
and opening your piriformis. Knees to chest and relax. Good job. Well done. I'm Adele from Get Gorgeous. I'll see you soon.